technology just has a way, doesn't it? But good to be back on. It's still business half hour here on Classic FM 97.3. Kickstarted the show with Juliet Ehimoa, uh, Ogo Dre in the studio with us. The Nymetric School. In fact, mm, we sincerely apologize uh, for that break in transmission, but we're back on and hopefully we're not going anywhere right now. So um, yes. but just, you were saying something before we were, we were cut. Yeah, sorry, Lego. So I was, just, I was just doing a little bit of intro about, about Juliet. Um, so just mentioning that uh, she was named Forbes as one of the top 20 power women in Africa and also by the London Business School as one of 30 people changing the world. And she's been featured on, on BBC and CNN as well. So, so Juliet, welcome to the show. Um, I mean, you, you, you are the country director for, for Google, uh, leading Google's business strategy in Lagos. And that definitely must have put you, uh, you know, giving you a huge perspective uh, about SMEs in general in Nigeria, and not just SMEs, even big brands. So what has that experience been like working with, you know, big companies and SMEs? So let's start with, let's start with the bigger brands and then we'll just gravitate to the SMEs. And then you can tell us maybe from your experience, you know, what the difference has been. Thank you very much. And once again, hello Lagos, and it's great to be here. So I mentioned earlier that uh, the bulk of our work has really been around supporting businesses and individuals to get the best out of the internet. And we do that across multiple segments, large organizations, SMBs, and entrepreneurs as well, which is a very critical segment for economic growth. Um, from a large business perspective, the work we do is just really around supporting organizations in leveraging digital tools, first, even uh, in terms of their own business processes. So, you know, solutions like um, uh, Google Apps, cloud computing for communication and collaboration, looking at um, how those can really be leveraged within organizations, looking at, you know, digital marketing, how can you leverage digital tools and platforms to connect with users? We've seen a rise in the digital activity in Nigeria. More people are getting online and doing more things online. And, and in fact, the pandemic we had in the last few months has really underscored the need for digital transformation. More people are transacting online and we've seen a response from organizations, service providers in that direction. And then from an uh, SMB and uh, entrepreneurship perspective, we have a number of programs geared at providing support around winning on the web. So we have an initiative called Grow with Google. This is really providing tools, training, best practices to small, medium businesses. And uh, you know, these are tools that can support you around uh, being able to uh, leverage different um, existing platforms. Again, uh, there's a tool called Google My Business, which is really, uh, um, a software that supports small medium businesses in getting online and uh, getting automatically listed as uh, um, on Google Maps and also um, getting uh, making it easy for people to find your business, people to find you. Also best practices just around, you know, how do you connect better with your customers? How do you uh, ensure that you get the best out of your digital assets and those kinds of um, uh, best practices? And then on an entrepreneurship perspective, we have an initiative called uh, Google Launchpad Accelerator, which really provides mentoring and support. All right, interesting. Um, so a lot of people look at Google on this and, and most times you, you think it's, it's, it's basically search, uh, Gmail, you know, but, and then maybe, maybe Google Maps. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of Nigerians use it these days for, to beat traffic, uh, but, I guess it's beyond that. How how has you know how do you think SMEs in Nigeria um, have actually used Google to enhance uh, their business processes and and perhaps even uh, improve on their marketing? Have they been able to use Google because it's not just search, is it? No, actually, um, it's really a suite of. Um, uh, applications that can really help you get the best out of the internet. So Google search is one, and that's a very important one because we see a lot of queries on search from around the world, including from Nigeria on a daily basis. People wanting to search for information, um, information about you know, places to go, things to do, uh, you know, best practices, where to eat and so on and so forth, right? And so Google search is a very important one and it's becoming a companion for a lot of people. 
So um, I mentioned Google My Business as a tool. That's one that really helps you to be found easily on Google search, as well as ensuring you're listed on Google Maps. Uh, but beyond search, there's YouTube, right, uh, which is the v online video sharing platform. A lot of uh, organizations are leveraging YouTube as a way to reach customers. And, you know, not just uh, uh, large organizations, actually, a broad spectrum, including individuals. It's a great way to broadcast yourself. It's a great, great way to, um, you know, share, uh, you know, the core of what your service offering is and create an emotive connection with customers because, you know, people like to watch video. It's, it's very easy to digest. It's very easy to get your message across. You can really be creative in uh, developing your message. And so we found that as a very important tool for really getting the business message across and creating that sort of emotive connection with users and that's open to individuals to small medium businesses as well as to large organizations and then there's our uh, google apps which is just our cloud computing uh, collaboration tools from you know uh, email to shared documents to drive to uh, video conferencing tools like google meets and so on so these are some examples of the suite of applications that are uh, open to people but you know, beyond these tools themselves, we are very, we believe very strongly in uh, the power of the internet. And so, uh, on a on a regular basis, we uh, uh, work with different partners to provide training and support on how you can really organize your. Um, your digital assets, how you can get the best out of the internet. Um, our Grow with Google initiative that I talked about, uh, this started as an initiative to train 10 million people with digital skills across Africa. And uh, we've, uh, and that has been individuals as well as small, medium businesses. But more recently, we've, we're pivoting that initiative to focus a lot more on small, yeah. medium businesses because you know, we see the importance and the need, especially, you know, given the challenges we've had in the last few months, people really need to be able to pivot. Um, I'll just share a link um, uh, that can be useful to people around just getting all the tools that are available uh, with uh, Grow with Google. And that's on um, grow.google yeah. slash international, that's I-N-T-L slash S-S-A. Or if you just go on Google search and type Grow with Google Africa, You'll find right. uh, a link to that platform with all the information. All right, all right, great. So there, there was something you were, you said earlier that kind of caught my attention, and I don't know because like that caught your attention as well. You said you talked about search that a lot of people go to search. Um, so there there are millions of businesses in Nigeria today, and you know Google is such a powerful tool where uh, you know you, you get a lot of information around what people are actually looking for. So you know since the pandemic, uh, a lot of businesses are sort of more online. You've seen people basically rely a lot more on the internet to drive, uh, you know, their commerce or their, or their business. So from a Google perspective, uh, th there's this thing that I always look out, look, out, look out for towards the end of the year. Google just shows you the kind of music that Nigerians are actually saying. So from a business perspective, what is that thing that are actually looking Search for what exactly we've got it? issues with your microphone is it better now can we hello oh okay uh, all right i think it's better now go ahead all right all right so i'll say so i mean if you're if you were um if you were listening to um uh, to, uh, towards the end of the year, Google always has this stuff where it pu pushes out the music that Nigerians are listening to, maybe the top 10 music Nigerians are listening to and stuff like that. So for SM, like what are those, you know, top searching items that Nigerians, you know, Nigerian SMEs, SMEs are typically looking for? Is it, is it loans? Is it how to start a business? What exactly interests Nigerians? That's a good question. And um, it's worth also uh, mentioning that this information is actually publicly available. Uh, we've got a, a, a platform called Google Trends, where you can see some of the trending topics on Google search across multiple countries. Uh, so that's uh, an invitation to everyone to, to take a look at that. But <clears throat> what we find people searching for, uh, it really ranges. There are lots of uh, quest, how to type of questions. So um, loans that you mentioned, that's actually a big one. Um, it's one of our top trending finance queries. Uh, you know, how to find a loan, how to get uh, um, funding for my business, how to raise capital 
those are questions that are very top of mind. And then, you know, there are questions about cards as well, payment, uh, payment cards. But beyond finance, um, you know, there are a number, of, a number of questions about even, you know, life, lifestyle topics like, um, you know, how do I perform X, Y, Z? Uh, one of my uh, favorite stories, um, this is a success story, is a Nigerian SMB who uh, went to, she wanted to create a business plan. Her business was really around using Ankara to create bags and she didn't know how to create write a business plan she went on google search and searched for how to write a business plan and google uh, business plan templates of course she got a lot of links and even some uh, videos just talking her through the process she got some templates to choose from and based on that she was able to develop a business plan now she also was very good at designing but she wasn't great at sketching her designs and so she went on YouTube to search for, you know, how do you sketch bags? And she got some videos that taught her how to do that. With that, she created some sketches and then uh, went, decided that actually she wanted to send her work, samples of her work and the sketches to a lot of um, uh, online publishers. So she went back to Google search and searched for, you know, a list of bloggers, right? She got a full list. She said she sent to uh, more than 10. And a few of them liked her designs and uh, started to feature her work. And that was really how her business took off. And, um, you know, she, 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 the, the, the business grew. Uh, her name is Esse Ogene. Uh, she subsequently won the Richard Branson Scholarship for Entrepreneurs. And um, she's, she's really doing very well. And that's all from being able to search. And, and that's what we try to tell uh, people, particularly small, medium businesses. You know, there's no, there's no point starting from scratch. You'll find out a lot of things that you want to do already have some content, either a how-to guide, a webinar, a template online. You can actually go and search to give you a head start so that you can, you know, you can get there faster. You can also leverage those platforms to connect with like-minded people, to find partners and develop the right collaborations and partnerships. So, um, you know, these tools have just really brought information to our fingertips. It's non-discriminatory. You have access to the same information as anyone anywhere else in the world. And uh, we're finding businesses leveraging that in a really powerful way. So Google is a teacher, a directory, a what else? What is it? <laughs> your friend, <laughs> companion. Yeah, yeah, Julia, what about people in the more remote areas of Nigeria, for, for example? How do you intend to reach them? We heard something about the Google providing internet via um, balloons and all of that. Where, where are we on that one? Yes, so there are a number of initiatives and there are multi multiple stakeholders involved in just really making sure that the internet is more available and more affordable for the average Nigerian user and that there's connecti connectivity in remote areas. Obviously, this is an area of interest for the government, uh, particularly the Ministry of uh, Communications and the Digital Economy. It's an area of interest for telecom operators and internet service providers. And it's an area of interest for um, providers like, uh, like Google as well. And we've, uh, there've been a number of um, you know, collaborations to just really look at what are the obstacles to expanding connectivity and what are the things that need to be put in place? These are ongoing efforts. Uh, some, of, some people may be aware that uh, there was a national broadband plan created a few years ago. And um, there's, uh, there's a committee right now uh, created by the, by the Ministry of Comms and Digital Economy, just really looking at uh, how do we drive the digital economy? Of course, an important that part of that is making sure that there's reliable infrastructure because it's important that we don't leave anyone behind. It's important that this access we're talking about is also present in, in, in rural areas and that they can leverage these tools and information to create opportunities for themselves. One part is infrastructure. Another part is having the digital skills, which is why we're very committed to expanding the level of digital awareness and um, participation through our digital skills training, which is free and open to everyone. Um, I talked about training 10 million people in five years, which is our commitment. We're halfway through <laughs> and, uh, and that's ongoing and it's really open to everyone. And it's worth mentioning that um, the modules are easy to access from a very basic phone. So, um, you know, if you're, if you're 
connecting with a low bandwidth or a feature phone, you're able to actually um, go through the modules, um, you know, one after the other. And this is deliberate because obviously we're sensitive to the fact that not everyone has very strong um, uh, connectivity. But yes, it's, it's, it's our intention. And um, more specifically around initiatives, there are a number of things that uh, we've been um, working with partners in the uh, in this space on just really looking at you know innovative ways to expand internet access uh, to um, across the country and to rural areas as well. And how do people get on uh, these models you've talked about? What do they have to Google search or what is the link? Because I know someone out there might be interested in what you just talked about. Sure. So. Um, I think what I usually say these days is there's no point memorize, trying to memorize URLs anymore. If you just go on Google search and you type, for, you, you, you type grow with Google, the site would come up where you have access to all this information. It's all housed on the, under that uh, platform called grow with Google. Okay. All right, Julia. Right, so I've got a question though. Um, for a, a, lot of, a lot of SMEs, one of the most important obstacles they face uh, on their path to growth is is marketing, right? And and you know Google plays a huge role when it comes to you know marketing, digital marketing and advertising. So for small businesses who are just starting up and perhaps maybe have a very small marketing budget, uh, you see a lot of them on maybe Instagram or on social media trying to just push their products. How can Google support or help businesses like that? Uh, improve on their marketing at least like you know hit a wider audience because you do know google has a lot more uh you know audience than any other platform out there so how can small businesses like this who have very limited budget uh you know at least take advantage of the power of google sure that's a good question so um what we do with our digital skills training which i mentioned it we're pivoting towards smbs a lot more at the moment and all of this information can be found on our grow grow with google website uh, is to provide a very broad perspective on being successful on the on the web right so you know starting with you know social media platforms we actually introduce those and talk about those um, and other free platforms so that because we understand that for you know a lot of small medium businesses are grappling with you know cash flow um, they don't necessarily have very huge budgets etc uh, especially when you're starting out so we you know google my business that i mentioned is a free platform uh, a free platform for you to create a, uh, an, an online shop and um, get automatically listed in, uh, on Google Maps. And also, you know, it makes it easy for people to find you on Google search, right? So these are, you know, platforms that um, organizations can use. Even uh, YouTube is a free platform. As an SMB, you can create a channel on YouTube. And we do have a number of SMBs that are leveraging that platform to share different kinds of content from lifestyle content, even, you know, caterers putting like recipes and, and all that on YouTube to, um, you know, people in the, you know, uh, lifestyle and beauty industry putting, you know, tips on how to, you know, apply your makeup, different products and what they mean, uh, you know, to fitness instructors, to, uh, you know, the larger organizations. Um, there's a big, trend around content marketing at the moment, which is, you know, not necessarily um, overt advertising, but offering value as a way of getting users to get a sense of what you have to offer, right? And these platforms really make it easy for you to do that. So for example, if you're in the catering business, and you might want to just provide some tips around, you know, healthy eating or, you know, recipes that people don't ordinarily think about. How do you, you know, create our uh, Nigerian meals from a very, you know, healthy perspective and so on. Um, or whatever business you're offering, maybe it's, uh, uh, you know, you're a fintech organization and you want to put out a few tips around, you know, how to manage money, how to build, you know, wealth, etc. These are all platforms that are, are free and make it possible to, for you to create those types of connections with your users where they experience you and you're top of mind so that when it's time for them to, when they have a real need for your service, you're an obvious choice. All right, so I've got a question here from Yomi Oguno, um, one of the panelists who, who logged in. Uh, Yomi says, how can Google help Nigeria SMEs to seamlessly link finance companies 
or to have partnership with some kind of financial institutions? So what, one of the things that we offer is support to um, entrepreneurs. So um, we have an initiative that we call the Google for Startups Accelerator Program. Now, this is a three-month in-depth mentoring and equity-free support program to um, entrepreneurs, particularly tech entrepreneurs across Africa. And through this program, uh, the startups get access to um, you know, mentoring, even around how to raise capital. Uh, they get, uh, they get uh, grants, they get training, um, and just uh, access to networks and infrastructure and all that. Um, the program is in its fifth stage. We've had 47 startups go through that so far from across multiple countries. And what we found is that, you know, there've been some great success stories. Collectively, they've raised millions of dollars in investment and created hundreds of jobs. And in some cases, we actually um, create forums where they can meet with the uh, investment community just to also get a sense of, you know, what the investors are looking for, as well as, you know, making some of those um, connections. So these are examples. And one thing I would say in general to startups is that, um, or businesses that are looking for funding and finance is that, good money will always always follow good ideas. It was very interesting to see that right in the midst of COVID, um, in the month of May, a Nigerian um, startup raised at Call Tomato Joss in the north, raised $4.2 million in funding. Hmm. And if you really um, uh, you know, look at the statistics, you'll find out that um, while a lot of investments declined in 2019, investments to, uh, you know, tech-based investments were on the increase. And um, that's an upward trend at the moment. So, you know, my encouragement to SMEs, to entrepreneurs is just really, you know, it's really about making sure that you apply the right level of rigor around solving a need, right? Just making sure that you are providing a real solution to, to, to um, uh, an existing need and that your uh, you know, the quality of service is quite strong um, and uh, there's a very clear business sure. plan yes, in place. We want to go on and on and on and on, <laughs> but not to meet us. You know, time is of the essence and radio is always. Well, it's, it's been quite an interesting one with you and I'm sure entrepreneurs out there would want to have something to do with uh, Google as well. And uh, Ugo, you know, there's something we always do on the show. I wanted to ask her some questions, but time would not permit. Yes. Let's do that. Let's do the regular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Juliet, thank you so much. Uh, as usual, what we do at the end of this show is you just give us like your, your watchword or byline or that thing that guides you, you know, every day. So, uh, you know, what is it? What, what's that phrase or that watchword uh, that you like to just say to yourself all the time that sort of gives you that punch or that inspiration? Share with Lagos. <laughs> Actually, so this is one that I learned from my mom. My mom is late now, um, and she was an incredible woman of courage. She had a quote, which was, it's not the life that matters, but the courage you put into it. And for her, that was just about, you know, when you get up every day, you know, put on a cloak of courage. And, you know, different things may happen to you. It's not really, that's not what defines you. It's what you do with what happens to you. That's what defines you. And for you to thrive in life, you need a dose of courage. So it's not the life that matters. It is the courage, right? So you put into it. That's what she used to say. You heard that already. Thank you so much. Uh, we have to go on the show this morning. All right, Bukola. So that's our show for this week. I'm sure Lagos, you guys learned a lot. All right. Have a lovely week ahead. Thank you for coming on the show, Juliet. Thank Enjoy you. Day. Thank you, Juliet. You're very Enjoy. welcome. It's been a pleasure. All right. Have a great day ahead. TCMS and Classic FM, 97.3 station to play every song you know continues in a few clicks.